So this is what I think we need. There are these wonderful towel holders that we made from some old linen dish towels a few years ago. You can see we just folded up the bottom of the towel and stitched on the sides and stitched little compartments right here. And we have some ties on the side. So here we have skewers, different size spatulas, a pair of good tongs, of course a big fork for churning things, and two spoons one for stirring, one for lifting, and a brush, just in case we want to brush anything on our barbecue. Now this can be folded down like this, roll up the kit, and this way it really takes up very little space. And not only that, it's washable. So if you put back dirty utensils, you can easily clean this bag. Then we have our matches, of course, our toothpicks, and I like to pack these in Ziploc bags. Every time I come home, I'll clean up whatever I have and repack everything. The matches will stay dry. The toothpicks will stay separate. And these can go with a couple extra bags right into a Ziploc bag like this. This is from Martha by Mail, and I love this pattern, as is the great big tote bag in these French ticking stripes. So this is ready to go. Lots of big lapkins. Now these are dish towels that are the size of what I call lapkins. Really great for a picnic. Now if you're doing a really messy barbecue with barbecue sauce, choose a darker color. So we have our napkins, enough for everyone and a couple extras. A cutting board, essential for a cookout. Salt and pepper, generous amounts in a Ziploc bag. Pot holders, of course. And big garbage bags. Taking home the mess. Dish towels that can be wet when you get there. And for dishes, well, I like to be environmentally sound in my approach to a picnic, so we take enamelware. This way we can wash them, pack them up and take them on the next picnic. No throwing away a lot of expensive paper plates. And a big platter. These are all enamel pieces that we've collected. Dinner plates and a bowl. Those will all fit in. Oh, and don't forget the flatware. Essential flatware. Each pocket in one of these same towels um, has a fork, knife, and a spoon. And look at these great pieces of flatware. Again, reusable. Take them home, wash them. They're gorgeous and they are sturdy. And in the last two pockets, a corkscrew and a folding sharp knife. So this too can be rolled up. And then we have for our food, these wonderful insulated bags. And we have uh, them in different sizes so that you can pack in here anything that has to stay cold with a few cold packs. These are great, and these are also from Martha by Mail. I just love the look of them. They're very attractive, and they have good straps that can go over one shoulder. You can also carry them like this if you like. And a small one for some drinks. And of course, our portable grill. This one's from Weber. It's the perfect size, and it costs just about $30. If you're gonna take this in the car, there's a lot of rattly parts you can hear. So what I suggest is just putting a couple of rags to muffle the sounds, keep things from rattling around. And rather than just stick this in the trunk where you're going to be maybe driven crazy by the rattling noises, how about just putting this into a great big old tote bag? And you're not going to hear any noise whatsoever. It's practical. Get this right into the bag. Coming home, you can cool the grill off really well, empty it of all its ashes, and then you can put it in a big plastic bag and put it right back in here to clean up once you get home. And charcoal, don't forget the charcoal. I think this is gonna be by itself. So, packing up. Heavy things first. dishes. And most important, don't forget the food. It's a horrible picnic when you get to the beach and realize that that
cool or was left at home. So make sure that these are packed up and those two can go into this very spacious bag. Oh, and don't forget your cutting board. And remember, when you get to that beach or to that park, leave your picnic area neater than you found it. It's a good thing to do. Have fun.